Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sari and this is day 32 of the Simplify Your Life Challenge for 2022. This challenge is based on an ebook by YouTuber Michelle B. I will link her channel and the ebook in the bar down below. If you want to follow along with this whole series from the beginning, there's a playlist that I will link on the screen. With that, let's get into day 32 where we choose two resources. Today is all about easing out of the formal guided part of this challenge and positioning yourself to keep going on this journey, to keep learning, to keep up all of the habits that we've set up for ourselves so we can stay simplified and stay decluttered both physically and mentally. Keep going, keep pushing, keep exploring what we've done over the past 30, that's more than half of our year. This is supposed to be a 30 day challenge. I made it a 30 week challenge and then I made it a 33 week challenge because I added some things. So, you know, why did society decide that we need to do things in round numbers and multiples of five, I guess, just living my life. So we are coming to the end of the formal part of this, of the journey, of the videos and the walkthroughs. But I know that I still have so much more work to do, and I'm sure you all do too. I think we've been doing a lot of great work here. We've been building, we've been working towards something. I've been doing this for as long as you all have, and decluttering more things as I feel able to. I need to be able to revisit this. I need to be able to do more, to refine, to work on my goals some more, work on my to-do list some more, get rid of some furniture that I still haven't gotten rid of, all of these things. And continuing to learn about the best ways to live a simplified, focused life. And I hope you will also continue this learning journey long after I am done coming to you every Saturday morning and saying, hey, here's what I think you should be doing because I'm not an authority and I'm just making some videos. Hopefully I've set you up with the base, but also hopefully I've inspired you to take this further, to find resources from people who actually know what they're talking about and aren't just random people on the internet who are doing this and thought they'd record it. Today is about finding some resources to help us continue learning and focusing on our journey. It's really easy. All you need to do today is pick two or more, if you want, resources on simplifying to listen to, to watch, to read, whatever. Consume in whatever way is appropriate. If you don't want to purchase books after you've just done a huge book clear out, highly understandable, find a different source of info, find a video, find a podcast, find something else or get the book on loan from the library for free. Here are some recommended resources from the ebook as well as a few of my own. The first ones are kind of obvious. We've talked about them throughout this journey. The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, which is what inspired a lot of people's physical decluttering journey. I have read it. I tend to have always ever since I started intentionally going through my things every year, had that Marie Kondo mindset of not just if I haven't used this in a year, do I need it? But do I actually like this? Do I still want it? Do I still enjoy this? And going through that and getting rid of it. But I think that her show has its merits. I think that her book is a good resource as you're trying to do this. It hasn't inspired a whole movement for no reason. The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck by Sarah Knight. That book was what I needed. That was the push in my life to say, I'm gonna start living for me more than I already did. Cause trust me, I'm not really a people pleaser. I've never been a people pleaser. That's not true. I used to be a people pleaser. And then I made a very conscious decision at age 18 to stop being a people pleaser. And I never looked back. But really the Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck and honestly, the rest of the books in the No Fucks Given Guide by Sarah Knight, which are Get Your Shit Together, You Do You, and Calm the Fuck Down. They're all about 
mental decluttering and goal setting and how to de-stress and how to overcome anxiety and live for you and not for others. And all of these things are so important and I think we all need to learn them. And I just, I cannot recommend those resources enough, honestly. I love her books and I love what she's done and I love what she's built. And it's really similar to a lot of the philosophies I have and a lot of the ways that I approach my life. So that's why they work really well for me. And I push them on other people because that's how I've been living for 20 years. So obviously I recommend that resource. <laughs> you Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. The ebook recommends this if you enjoyed or struggled with diving in and reshaping your negative beliefs. This is definitely on my list of resources to check out because I really struggled with the negative beliefs thing. So I need to dig more into that. The 80-20 Principle by Richard Koch. This is very cis head business entrepreneur white bro stuff. So it's not for everyone, but it does get at the idea of achieving much more with less effort time and resources by reevaluating how we spend our time and focusing on the key things. There are some useful messages in here. There are some useful tips in here. It's a useful resource. I just know that like the entrepreneurial white cis het man stuff is often exhausting for those of us who are not cis het white men. The Power of Less by Leo Bavuato. This is a guide on choosing what to accept and what to not accept what to keep, what to lose, and how to do that consciously and joyfully. That's maybe a good resource for you if you're struggling with getting rid of things and sentimentality and all of these things that are maybe holding you back from actually letting go of things. Minimalism, a documentary, I think it's on Netflix. I'm not actually sure, but I know they made a whole minimalism documentary. I didn't watch it, but it may be a good way for you to get more information and insight into the world of minimalism. The Curated Closet by Anushka Reis. Really great resource for help defining your personal style and keeping your wardrobe pared down and manageable. I've mentioned that. I've also mentioned some other resources throughout this series. So hopefully you've written those down because I didn't go back and look at old video notes and remind myself of all of the things I've recommended. This is a good start, but you know, dig in, do some research, follow the internet rabbit hole for once. Like I like to type in the keyword into the library ebook system search and then just see where it leads me. I also like to go to something that I know is a resource that I've either used before or have heard about or have been meaning to look into and then looking at the recommended resources based on that. Podcasts are often useful and sometimes you can listen to a podcast and then get recommendations for further resources based off of interviews on that podcast or things people are discussing on the podcast. So look into some of that stuff if you want to. My resources, as always, I have more than two. I have five because I can't just do the assignment as instructed. I need to be as excessive as possible are the following. You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. We already talked about that. Everything is Figure Outable by Marie Forleo. Big Dreams, Daily Joys by Elise Blaha Crepe. Designing Your Life by Bill Barnett and Dave Evans, and The Art of Thinking Clearly by Rolf Dobelli. So that's the five resources I have selected for myself to explore further. I'm gonna be doing that in the days to come, the weeks to come. Let me know if you want me to like make another video to share my insights on that. I can probably, um, I'll take some notes and let you know what came of that if you're interested. I'm curious to know if that's something you all want. So leave that in the comments. Leave some more resources in the comments of like, what's a really good resource that you've come across for mental decluttering, physical decluttering, goal setting, to-do list, refinement, all of this, all of this stuff we've talked about, just drop some resources in the comments 
and let's build a resource library, as it were, for everybody. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye!